YouTube. My name is Mehul and welcome back to another Swift UI video in which I'm quickly going to show you how you can separate your views in different files so that you can keep your code base clean. You can see that it would get super messy real quick if I keep on adding code into this file. As you can see, we already have one, two, three, four different views in this file and a bunch of classes and helpful structs as well so it's very important to keep all of this separate in order to have a scalable and maintainable code base so what you have to do in swift it's pretty simple just go ahead and for example just cut this and i'm just gonna go ahead and right here i'm just gonna say new file and this would be swift swift ui view there we go and just go ahead and click on next and i'm just gonna say that this is my dashboard view and hit enter so once we have that i'm just gonna replace this dashboard view construct like that all right so what have we have that in place we all already have the content view file so what i'm gonna go do is go ahead and right here i'm gonna create a new file named or we already have swift ui selected here i'm going to name this root view right and hit enter and uh, just gonna cut this right here and paste it straight into root view right similarly just like that i'm going to separate this class as well so i'm going to cut this class right here and i'm gonna say a new file which is not a swift ui view it's just a swift file hit next and i'm gonna say that this is http auth dot swift and what we want to do is just like this you can actually get rid of foundation if you want but we would definitely be needing combine framework because of the bindable object protocol right so we can get rid of this foundation but we need to import the combined framework right and yep that's it i guess okay i guess we can just throw in the swift ui as well here and once we do that we should be good to go for the rest of the part you can kind of like create another I would say let's see a new file which is a helper dot swift oops swift I'm gonna name this helper dot swift and this would contain our structs stuff like that right and I'm just gonna throw in swift UI everywhere so that we don't break any stuff so in the content view we could also get this out if you want right and uh, finally this would be input swift ui view input text field i guess that's what i named it not really sure though there we go yeah input text field so now the advantage you get from this is basically you now have a much much cleaner content view you now have a much cleaner code base as well as you can see that now you can individually test the components in the preview as well so if you just resume it you're gonna see that you get only this input text field um preview and actually it won't really work as of now because it's not an independent uh text field view so what you need to do is you need to create a sort of a binding here if you want and then pass it down there so i'm not going to do that for now but what we could do is we could just go ahead and go into root view and build the project now once you build the project it fails because you're going to need to pass in these arguments so i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these debug calls once at all because why not right so anyway 
once you do that you should be able to see that now on your simulator everything works just like usual just like normal except now the thing is that you have a much cleaner code base a much organized course code base which you can always go ahead and peek into and change some stuff if you want and it's much more maintainable with different files it's easier to debug stuff as well as well as adding more stuff to it so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video